Hi, I am Dr. Sakir Mansoor and today I will discuss with you anatomy of the conjoint tendon which is very important as it strengthens the anterior abdominal wall and prevents a potential problem or disease the direct inguinal hernia to occur. This is the conjoint tendon. Here you follow the laser hand. This is the conjoint tendon which is formed by the lower aponeurotic fibers of the internal oblique muscle and the transversus abdominis muscle. This is the transversus abdominis and this is the internal oblique muscle. Here they constitutes the ye, this con conjoint tendon. This is, here is the formation. So let's move on uh, and uh, to a presentation. So conjoint tendon is a sheath of the connective tissue constituted by the fusion of the lower aponeurotic fibers of internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle. It constitutes medial part of the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. Here you could see again, this is the labeling conjoint tendon over here. I told you already. And uh, inferiorly, it gets attached to the pubic crest and to medial part of the pectin pubis, that is the pectineal line. You could see the inferior attachments. Let me zoom it for you. I'm showing you the attachments. This is the conjoint tendon over here. And these are the attachments light to the pectineal line. Medially, continuous with linear alba. Medially, it is con this is a linear alba. So medially, it is continuous with linear alba. And laterally, it has a free border underneath which passes inguinal canal with the spermatic cord. We'll choose the picture of the spermatic cord very soon. So this is, a, again, this very picture. And uh, this is very important. I told you already, it strengthens lower part of the anterior abdominal wall. Uh, that gets weakened by presence of the superficial inguinal ring. It, its weakness causes direct inguinal hernia. Interfavular ligament, very important structure. Here you could see, um, this is the interfavular ligament. Let me enlarge it for you over here. here you could see, let me, uh, you know, zoom in for you, this interfavular ligament. Here you could see it's zoomed. And uh, here you could see this. This is the our interfavular ligament, interfavular ligament. Here it is. You could see this. You saw it. Let me now describe it. It's a thickening of the fascia transfer cellus that extends from lower bar border of the transversus abdominis to superior ramus of the pubis in front of the inferior epigastric vessels. So these are the inferior epigastric vessels. You see in this picture as well, this is already enlarged and uh, this is conjoint tendon. This is interfoveolar ligament o over here it is, right? So this is the spermatic cord over here and uh, you see this uh, interfoveolar ligament, its relation with the inferior epigastric artery. This is the inferior epigastric artery. You follow the laser, so it's passing in front of that. So in the last slide, this is the another beautiful picture of that. Uh, uh, these all structures. This is the internal oblique muscle. This is the transversus abdominis muscle, and they form here. This is the conjoint tendon. You could see this. This is the conjoint tendon, where this is the spermatic cord passing through the inguinal canal, and uh, this is the inferior epigastric vessels running in the medial border of the deep ring. These are the vessels, right? These are the important structures. This is the last beautiful picture of the short slide. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, please subscribe and support my channel. Goodbye.